Okay, right. Temple Bryce, what are we playing? We're we're playing old Russian mod that's supposed to be continuation of the end of Portal One. Like if this was made before Portal Two came out, I don't remember. But judging way, by the title of the mod, are we just trying to find Chell's house? <laughs> I th does Chell even remember who she is? Let alone where she lives. I don't think that's lore accurate. Or okay, this is. Why are uh, the captions this big? I don't know. I don't know if this is higher graphics than the initial uh, actual portal ending, or if I've just never actually looked up. I, knowing you, you never looked up. <laughs> it it could potentially be both then. <laughs> Oh, uh, shell voice acting. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, maybe we should have had captions on. We don't speak yeah. that. <laughs> and also, it was really quiet to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, Soviet Vorticons. <laughs> okay. Um, I will. We're just gonna have to deal with gigantic captions. Watch them not even caption the Russian. I mean, the voice acting isn't bad, it's just not English. <laughs> I mean, we have plenty of uh, Eastern European fans, so... That did not sound good. <laughs> he called his friends and they arrived but crashed their car. Right, it's my turn, right? No, yeah. no, friendo. I told you it didn't sound Oh no! Gladys crush him. That was the shortest character arc of all time. He showed up, rescued us. Called his friends, caused an avalanche with his voice, and then died. Also, we, they let us keep the portal gun. <laughs> I guess Shell's got a strong grip. Is it Shell or Chell? I, I like alternate between the two constantly because I'm unsure of myself. I, I was under the impression, and I could be wrong, that in English, CH makes a CH sound. Okay. Yeah, not... But if you say Shell, Listen, it's... oh. What so about we... this surface looks portal... portal-able bull... portal-able... Listen, it's called bad lighting. Nice. Oh, hi. Uh, I wanted to see him wait, fall through wait the portal. Wait a second. He doesn't what? have a head crab. How, how is this canon? <laughs> I feel like he's just a, re a regular guy acting like a zombie. It's a social experiment, leave him alone. I feel like Aperture kind of was just a big social experiment. That would well, explain you're why everything about, about it was so that. weird. <laughs> okay, does he have physics? Can he... F okay. Oh, come on now. Okay, you want to use a speedrunning tactic to see if we could get up there? Wait, I have idea. Ow! Oh, come on! I don't get it. Okay, fine. We'll try your speedrunning trick. Alright. It only took you seven attempts to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you okay. counting? <laughs> uh, listen, I'm just... I'm... 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 You, you know? Okay. All right, now look up again. Yeah, you can, um, a little further. Orange? Uh, any color. And now you can walk back through. Hey! Interesting. Is this Soviet milk? I wonder how different it is from regular milk. Is it just me, or is it really quiet? It's not- what the heck is an aggressive environment indicator? This man thinks he's speaking English. Or <laughs> the subtitles... I don't know how to say what I want to say. Why does this exist? 
This is the most pointless conveyor belt I've ever seen. <laughs> Yay. See, that's the thing. You can do anything you want with Aperture Science, and it will make sense because they're dumb enough to just make a four-foot-long freaking... I... So are we just back in a different test chamber now? No, he explained earlier what this was supposed to be, but it was in broken English, and it was it's hard enough for me to pay attention to non-broken English, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Translate. Porta... Okay, Porta... that's enough. <laughs> okay, so we could go to the Borealis. Why do they have, like, a postcard of it? You go to City 17, or the Aperture Campus, which is the only piece of English anything in this entire mod for whatever reason. Okay, so, first, to answer your question, the fact that they have a postcard of it means that they probably didn't understand its qualities and just thought it was a really cool boat, and they thought the time-traveling capacity of it was just a commodity. Oh, I and completely forgot. I, uh, for some reason, I completely forgot that Aperture made the Borealis because I'm so used to it just being like stereotypical Half-Life 3 fan mod plot device thing that I completely forgot that Aperture had anything to do with it. <laughs> they had literally everything to do with it. I know, I, I usually <laughs> remember that, but for some reason, I don't know. I'm not having a very good day today. <laughs> No! Now see, if we were Russian, we'd probably know what we were supposed to be doing right now. That's true. I make lights go blinky. That just turns on the four-foot conveyor belt. <laughs> That's is... the thing... What? What is this? The elevator. Oh, wait. oh, hello. How long has that been doing that? I'm not sure. I mean, it's not very helpful. There's no portable surface. Uh, uh, I almost did it. You try. Got a center. I thought you just got scared by the sparks. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh, too far. I like that there was a sound effect for you hitting your head on the metal, though. <laughs> I think we were supposed to do something with that box that was on the, the conveyor belt, but we can't grab it. Unless. And we can't portal it. Unless there's, like... Something we can drop on it to break it open. Things like the cash register, but that's not heavy enough to break it. <laughs> it's not even a fast conveyor belt. How much? Uh, uh, what? How is this able to happen? <laughs> but if I want to put it under the box, that's asking too much. This is the slowest conveyor belt of all time. Look, Mahogany, it's not gonna have enough momentum to break the box. What are you doing? <laughs> you wanna just no clip up there? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, Cleo. <laughs> you need SV cheats first. Oh. You don't know anything about the source engine. You Bethesda nerd. <laughs> no, Cleo. Oh, it is where we were supposed to go. What the heck? Why are you turning it off now? I don't know. I was, okay, I was thinking about this the other day. I was looking through the Steam winter sale and I kept seeing Elden Ring and I was like, you know, it would probably be really entertaining to try to complete a Souls-like game with you in co-op 
And then I remembered our Bloodborne thing, and I was like, you know, didn't he finish that game? And then I was thinking, wait, how the heck did Mahogany finish a Souls-like? And then, and then I realized, it's just because you're the most stubborn person on the face of the earth. Yeah. Oh! Ah. Uh. Hey, can I try something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, how convenient. Oh my gosh. Hey, this is like that one time when you got stuck in a box. Or was it me that got stuck in a box? I can't remember. One of us got stuck in a box. Ah! Oh no! I guess that's the AI that's helping us. Why'd they give it a face? It looks like a living renaissance painting. <laughs> Yeah! I just okay, wanted to Okay, so we can do that, but we can't move a frickin' box. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have hair? <laughs> is it in black and white, or is it entirely metal? Which, okay, no, I but Is the door open? Try chucking them at the turrets. <laughs> okay, these are the worst doors. This is just bad level design. <laughs> Don't blame the doors. Okay, wow. Oh. What the- what is that? This is Russia, my young friend. What does it have in its mouth? <laughs> my first thought was trumpet, but I don't think that's correct. Alright, first first order of business. Oh, wooden spike! That's how the fellow died. I think that's an antlion leg. Is the... No. It doesn't it explain how wall. he died in T pose, though. A pose. Maybe it was T pose, but over time, as his muscles deteriorated, they dropped to A pose. He doesn't have any muscles. Not. That's <laughs> he, why they deteriorated. He shouldn't have any ligaments at all. His bones shouldn't even be in like connected to each other. <laughs> Maybe it's the suit holding them together. The suit's only on his torso. What about the you know the door? I tried that. That was the first thing I tried. I'm almost kind of disappointed that that wasn't a skull trumpet. Everything about this is like. PlayStation 2 level design. None of these physics objects actually have physics. They're all static. So they're just objects. Yeah, so I can't, there's like no vent behind this. Can you buy something from the vending machine? That would have been hilarious if that was the <laughs> answer. The solution, buy or a grenade was... from the vending machine to use it to blow over the door. I would forgive this mod for that, if that was <laughs> an actual thing. Aperture Science Grenade Vending Machine. That just gave me an idea, but I'll, I'll tell you later. No, tell me now, there's nothing to do besides sit here and stare at the window that's broken. So basically, either us or one of our fans makes this, uh... You know the Subversion of Expectations video? Yeah. I hate to we, interrupt, but we got the portal gun back without any explanation whatsoever. <laughs> oh! Anyways, what were you saying? Basically, uh, 
there's a mod where the level design itself just makes no sense and it's not really a subversion of expectations more more than just like nothing makes sense so like like you said earlier to solve one part of the level you have to like interact with the vending machine and buy a, like a grenade comes out of it and you have to <laughs> blow something up that would be kind of fun just all sorts of little puzzles like that. Okay, where is the voice coming from? We're outside. Maybe we're the AI the whole time. Aperture science floating fire trademark. And they tested that on the college campus. <laughs> oh, the extremely stretched JPEG campus. <laughs> They're like, wait, the model we used for the for the sign was too long. Aperture science to floating them. fences. They made a lot of floating stuff. Why do they have random graves outside the campus? Watch this just be the point where it becomes an open world game. I thought you were gonna say watch the statue come to life and turn into a Dark Souls boss. That just that would be more me. entertaining than just running around trying to find out the next thing. Who made this mod? Uh, born in the USSR. Oh my. That's his username. I wonder where he's from. <laughs> okay. I didn't know Aperture Science had such a quaint shoreside campus in like Norway. With Listen, like Cave really Johnson old invested in so many things that like had no business paying off, including a mansion in the middle of the Arctic. <laughs> yeah, this is literally like that one place that uh, Thor and Loki's dad teleports them to in that one scene. Oh, in Ragnarok. Now. Yeah, and he's like, "Remember this place." <laughs> he's like, "Remember this place," and then he just dies. <laughs> and oh, we need a valve. At least I think that's what that is, unless it's just a random red herring. Uh... Okay, if yeah, we had some way to kill these fricks, this would be a much more enjoyable puzzle segment. Alright, well, if if the antlions show up again, I have your tantrum radiator, so I could probably oh, kill good. them with it. It makes a return. Uh... Somebody threw someone away. <laughs> Who got thrown away? They got thrown away a while ago. <laughs> Why is the wood plugged in? <laughs> <laughs> unless um, it's unless it like generates a portal there when like it's switched on, which is uh, probably the switch that's behind that door once we find the valve. Uh in the sand? No, that's just another dude. Man, what are they doing to these college students? Uh, how did he just die there? There's just not even any blood. He just fell over on the beach. I mean, it is a seaside, so the blood may have gotten washed away. But then yeah. again, that would have washed the body away, too. Let's do a full 28 minute long analysis video about the beach body. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Richter overtime video. <laughs> Attention, total evacuations is appointed on tomorrow. Dr. Palalalal Pavlau. Are you holding it? Why would she be holding the vase? I interpret the word vase and the word vase as two different things, okay? Okay, so what's I, a vase and what's a vase then? I say vase is... they're a lot wider, I would say. Not necess <laughs> not like wider than they are tall, but like a vase is like skinny. Like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, like, not a rule that exists. I don't think it is, but that's how- <laughs> that's, like, my headcanon for the word. I can't uh, believe I'm gatekeeping vocabulary You like have headcanon for real life. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I, Mahogany's listen, what alternate history. What do you think conspiracy theories are? <laughs> oh my gosh. This whole video is just gonna be us having entertaining conversations while we're in the <laughs> beginning level trying to find Honestly, a valve that may or may not exist. Those are my favorite kinds of videos that we make, though. Do you have anything on you? <laughs> he does not. We've stared at him for so long. What if...
We can trick Can we game. just look up a walkthrough? <laughs> Fantastic. I have a plan. So you see... Uh, I, I'm giving you 15 minutes until I staged an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> because if I if I don't put a time limit on this, we're gonna spend all night doing this, and then and then you're gonna be like, "Okay, I gotta leave," and then you're gonna hang up, and I'm gonna be sitting here with three hours of footage of us on the shore level <laughs> talking about the Illuminati ranking system. <laughs> you. <laughs> You literally have chronic stubbornness. I won't say it's a problem just yet. <laughs> That's but literally it... like you're in denial about your stubbornness. You will never admit how bad it actually is. That's why it's chronic. What? What? The other door was unlocked. The left side was unlocked, but the right side was locked. Jump scare time. S tier level design. Are <laughs> are games in Russia just like more difficult or something? I guess so. Or is this just a case of no, don't assume all Russians are like this just because one guy made a bad mod? I gotta ask my brother in law about <laughs> Russian game design. There it is! Ah, uh, I'm so glad you randomly had the impulse to check the lockers that you norm that you normally can't open i checked the one door and i'm like oh it's not uh it's not working i think i'm gonna move on and then like something in the back of my mind was like you should try the other door <laughs> i tr the funny thing is i tried that set of doors too but i guess i just tried the one side and then gave up no gasoline you gotta put the gas in the gin and then once you've got the gas in the gin then you turn the thingy how do I put it in the gen? I don't know. I was thinking I'd take it up to the thing and throw it at the at the one thing. What? Why would he bother coding a functional generator with a lever that you can pull on it? If you're Why not would he make it, it function to where you'd have to fuel it up before it would do anything? Because that's how generators work in real life. <laughs> Yeah, that that's, didn't work. That's literally like the entire plot of Left 4 Dead is fuel the generators before turning them on. <laughs> Can I try fueling the generator? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Why is there a rod here? Oh, wait. Oh, it's connected to the generator. Wait, maybe we have to take the oh, gasoline. Take out back. Out back. Pour it in the hole in the wall. Unfortunately, I don't think that's the answer. Can you shut up? At least it blasts apart the ant lions. Oh, it's... Okay, it's just one of those things where you gotta... You gotta press it a few times. The Overwatch voice has very poor microphone quality. You wanna do me a favor and look up a walkthrough while I'm walking around with the radiator? Yeah. <laughs> oh! I think I, I think I figured it out. Yes. Yes, you can! Yay. See, what I do when I uh, look at walkthroughs is I try to get the least amount of info possible. Oh, come on. Does it really only break one at a time? Oh my gosh. The person who made this is sadistic. Okay, is that wide enough for me to get through now, or is the stupid thing in the way? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, your turn. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Nice. What? Yes, take me up. Oh my. Oh, that's that's At great. least close the door. No cover, just stand there. And <laughs> if you strafe hard enough. Great level design. <laughs> just screw the player over without any redemption okay. whatsoever. But if you grab a barrel, a non-explosive barrel, and bring it with you in the elevator and hide behind it. 
Actually, that's not a bad idea. Crouch behind it? Yeah. This is surprisingly effective. This may, why would anybody think this is good? Like this, who play tested this? At least we're too high for him now. No, nope, not that. yet. <laughs> ah, ah. That's what you get for laughing. <laughs> you remember he's in a helicopter and he can just go <laughs> up. Like the co-pilot's like, oh, fiddlesticks, he's out of range. And then the pilot's just like, up button. <laughs> Ah. Oh, wait, turret. Oh, heavy's minigun from TF2. Go. I literally can't see. Oh. <laughs> Did he abandon ship? I think that was the co pilot. He's just like, <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. We're sustaining a lot of fire. He didn't have any faith in the pilot after it took him that long to realize he could go up in a helicopter. <laughs> I probably would have jumped out as soon as that happened, too. <laughs> you gotta find a gear. <laughs> oh, good. That's exactly what we needed. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it opened from this side. Oh, no. Hebcrad. Hebcrad. Kill um... with water. Kill with paint, kill with no. milk. <laughs> kill with something, okay. Can you open it? Oh, oh, like... oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Chicken die. Oh, uh, we go back and hope it did something. But the generator hasn't been fixed. Why are you trying to bring a barrel across the gap? I don't really know. Alright, let's try to get back across. Yeah, nice job screwing yourself <laughs> over with the barrel. You would have made that jump Shut if up. the barrel wasn't there. <laughs> It's a snow clip. There's probably nothing in there anyways. You're gonna waste all this time, and then we're gonna get in there, and it's gonna turn out the gear isn't even gonna be in that building. <laughs> what?! <laughs> oh my God. You see, stepping on glass hurts you in real life. Yeah, this is half-life, not real life. <laughs> uh ah, uh, this is Portel. Shell's Same universe, shut home. up! <laughs> It's, see, was... it's like real life. Touching electricity <laughs> kills you. Don't get me wrong. That was deliberate because I, I, uh, I, I, you know, you see, get back fasty. Me when I'm sick of my life, so I touch fuse box. Oh my god, you <laughs> went dark with that one. I mean, hey, emo temples is a meme now, so. Is it? Yes. Why can't I climb this ladder? You see, you broke the ladder. <laughs> because oh. you you took battery out of fuse box and the ladder is powered by electricity. I already climbed the ladder. I had to complete the joke, otherwise it wouldn't have been said. Quick to the walkthrough. Oh. Oh no. Under the couch. No, it's not. It's even dumber. Oh, oh, what? what? Oh my gosh. Wow. Amazing level design. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Oh, something arises. Helicopter. Helicopter. Oh my gosh. Your feet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
have shoes! <laughs> we, we have long fall boost. Uh, clearly we do not! Where where the heck did Shell, Shell get helicopter f piloting experience? Now we, we fly home. We fly to Shell's house. If that was the end of the game, that would be hilarious. But, <laughs> uh, the walkthrough is longer than that, so... No. <laughs> Why can't we just fly to Shell's house? Maybe we have to discover where she lives first. For some reason, I thought you were going to say we have to discover the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting shot down. Let me out. We, we can only use one portal color. Uh, well, you see the impact from the crash broke the orange part of your portal gun. Oh, oh we you have, have a crowbar. crowbar now for no reason. Hey, by the way, did you know that we're playing Half-Life? Did you know that we're playing... Chell's Way to Home? Unfortunately, I did. <laughs> I almost said, did you know we're playing your face? <laughs> I, I electrified the water! No, you didn't. You just oh, electrified yourself. <laughs> You just electrified your face. No, that that actually did electrify the water, but only for a minute. Oh, so this is a leeches. Ah. Touching the generator kills you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Look. What? What? There's an X on that one. Okay. This one. See, I drained it. Oh. It's it's only because I pointed out the the solution. I'm the hero of the story. You didn't point out the solution. You pointed out a map. Do we need to do the opposite and flood it with water instead? Hey, look, is that drained now? Oh, it is. It's no spooky. more leeches. Well, there are leeches. They just can't move around. Well, I don't see any, so therefore they don't exist. Yeah, it's also, like, insanely dark here, so... If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Just turn the lights off on your all your problems. That way your problems can't see you either. No, no, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist, so if you turn the lights off, your problems don't exist. I write self-help books. <laughs> Node graph out of date rebuilding, your turn. Yay. Help. Why this guy write help before he's starved to death waiting for pizza? This is this is the aftermath of the pizza video by Robert Benfer. Did you ever watch that one? I think so. That's like he orders pizza and he's like excitedly waiting for the pizza guy to arrive with his pizza. And then the pizza guy gets distracted doing six skateboard moves forgets that he's delivering a pizza and then goes home and passes out and Robert Benfer never gets his pizza and he starves to death and then dies on his bed where's my pizza and I think he he was either wearing a plaid shirt or he had like plaid bed coverings like that so that's why it reminded me of that plus the help thing above it <laughs> ding dong Check if you a human press the button three times. Sound of door opening will attract zombies. Oh no, it's a left for dead segment. It's gonna take a really long time to open the door. The sound is gonna attract zombies, so we have to sit here and survive. Oh. He just said that's what was gonna happen, but it didn't. Uh, am I supposed to close the door? Okay. I, yeah, I think you were supposed to close the door. Are you gonna reload what? me game, or do we have to do it? <laughs> I rang it so many times he thought that the doorbell was shorting out. 
I can't. But okay, how is this simultaneously the worst designed mod ever made, and at the same time he has insane attention to detail for realism? I touching electrified anything kills you instantly. Touching generators, even if they're just models of generators while they're on, kills you consistently. And pressing the button too many times makes the people think their ding dong gringer is shorting out. Instead of just, oh my gosh. Okay, now we can press the button. You pressed it four times. <laughs> not two, not eight, and not even one. I'm quick saving here. Get out of the way. The door's already closed. Oh, Russian propaganda. It's a good thing I don't understand Russian, otherwise I'd be converted to communism just by reading this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hi. We've fighted zombies back. Good job. Well, hello there. It seems like you came from far away. Your appearance is unusual for this place. Yeah, have worked but passed away right on the workplace. People say that supercomputer has gone mad and poisoned everybody with gas. And what is more, this piece of junk mocked- Oh my gosh, it goes so fast. <laughs> Springs on feet. You have to read this in your in your bad fan fiction narrator voice. Let's have a look. Yeah. No, not oh. that voice. Oh. <laughs> not by a bot narrator. Or uh, they were called the laboratory rats. Those who worked full time also was getting nanomedics with limited effect inside them. Boss, limited means curing, but not everything. <laughs> Limited means everything, but not everywhere. <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. That doesn't even mean anything. Yes, 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 that kind of field. Okay, we can't get the back. We can't get the past back anyway. Aliens are here already. Go to our doctor, then go back. We've got things to discuss. Hey girl, <laughs> we've got proposal for you. We'll try to make your nanomedics work. Okay. You still using Windows XP? It's like 2042. Ah, Gordon Freeman. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Clearly not enough tension to detail. <laughs> Gordon Freeman is female, confirm. Why can I pick this up with one hand? Why Why did I just... Okay, I almost killed myself with physics. Doctor! What's the prognosis? How long do I have? He very formal. He focused, <laughs> He's like, yes. Hmm. <laughs> he do intense study. <laughs> Did I just throw a cassette at him? I don't even know what that was. Oh! Oh, okay. Ah, oh, my hand go through the, the, the armrest. Why is this giving me Call of Duty Black Ops 1 flashbacks? But like, lame. Are they gonna give us a tattoo? Oh, sick. No, no don't crush my hand. Why did the arm have to go through that entire motion? He's he, why he just give us the evil eye. Oh no. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a human face. Nobody's gonna care about it. Well it's either that or the android, bro. Yeah. Let's move to the next topic of importance. <laughs> it's like let's quickly change the subject. I'm just gonna say that next time I really wanna change the subject. What did he do to us? 
he inject us and fix our nanomedics. So in other words, nanomachines, son. <laughs> nanomachines. Can I get up now? Why did it fade to black, play the sound of birds, and then fade to black, and then not fade to black? What? Have a safe trip! Use your body as you see fit. Anyways, have fun. Bye. I will now study this diagram of the human nervous system. I said nervous system before I actually saw what it said. I know things. <laughs> if I Just wasn't sure. You know what the nervous system looks like, which is more than I can say for myself. Dude, that guy has a sick t shirt. I want to see what it says. Day of the Dead? There. That's probably. Dawn of what the it Dead. Is. Dawn of the Dead. Or Sean of the Dead. It, the, look on the other side. That's oh. <laughs> a D on the top. I wasn't paying attention to what the letters were when we were on the other side of it. Everything worked well. <laughs> Some time is needed, about 50 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, you nanobots. Hey, it will be so cool if got shot, just lay just for 50 sec and you are back. <laughs> We talked a bit and decided to offer you a mutually beneficent deal. There was a door, Aperture C and Slab, in this bunker. It was closed for years from the inside until recently when it got opened without any reason. We found there a server room. We, bought, we brought there some reserve units. Okay. We can't go inside, oh. <laughs> You got the portal gun. <laughs> Inside the server room, there is one too. Using both of them, you will definitely. Oh, we get to dual wield the portal gun. De define to leave, make it. Also, I love this guy's soul patch and really long sideburns. He looks like the main character from Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's Yakuza, but I don't know. I don't know Japanese. Is it your turn now? Uh, yeah. Gun break. Please fix. The hey, wait, is- wait. Is this the chamber from... Portal 1? I think so. Quick. What is that? What? With that sound. Guess. The <laughs> no. That. I- I don't know. Well, you you made it green. Green means good. To the walkthrough. Oh my gosh. So on the walkthrough uh, that I'm on, it says uh, in a text on screen, it says somehow those numbers are a clue to the puzzle. I never got it. So I just copied from a random walkthrough. The walkthrough used a walkthrough. Yeah, this evidently. Walk through section. Okay, I got it. So it does have something to do with the um the key. The numbers mason. Here. The numbers mason. There are just different combinations where they, you know, do combinate. different things. Okay. I, I suppose. Yeah, combinate <laughs> if you like. <laughs> How will these subversions expectate us this time? <laughs> I got you to laugh this time, but not when I made the air joke originally. I know. <laughs> Dang it. What? I don't know what that did. Why it not working? Hold on. Oh my. That's so. That's so dumb. That's a button too. Uh <laughs> That's gonna kill me. Could it be the first time you crushed yourself with an elevator? It would not. It, I don't even think it would be the second time. <laughs> okay, when Hunt Down the Freeman came out, there was some really crazy conspiracy theories that it was intentionally made bad, and the people who made it were actually Valve, and they did it to, like, rile up the community for some specific reason that I don't remember they said. I don't know, that was, that was in an era when there was tons of, of Valve-related conspiracy theories all over the place, so. Do you think we can somehow get 
to that without death. Without doing a dead? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Is this a shower room? I think so. Why does it... Why does the drain have a ladder underneath it? <laughs> Baltic. It's not about why, it's about why not. 9264. He died waiting for pizza too. Oh no. He literally died, like, in the cafe where there's food. He and wanted movies. pizza and nothing else. Oh my gosh, he had <laughs> all the luxuries. And coffee. 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 <laughs> coffee all day, no sleep. Coffee all day, no sleep. He is my cousin. Okie dokie. Do you remember that? He is my cousin? Yeah. I don't think so. When we still had the Discord, um, I can't remember what his username was at the time. He was like this six-year-old, like actually six years old, that would like occasionally pop into general chat and say something like half intelligible. Um, <laughs> And one day he showed up in general chat, posted a picture of Donald Trump, and said, He is my cousin. He drank coffee all day, no sleep, and then left, and we didn't see him for like another week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not there that week. And then it became like an in-joke with me and a couple other people. Sometimes the things that are said in this server give me the urge to throw a flashbang into a room full of epilepsy. Is that why you referenced all day, no sleep in that one video? What video? I don't remember. Well, I'm sure it must have been then, because that's the only place I've ever heard the phrase all day no sleep. These. We have to put them over there so we can get up to there. Oh boy. Quick save. Yep. <laughs> well, while you're waiting for that platform to make a full rotation, um, did you ever watch Crafted Movie as a kid? I did not. Oh, dang it. Wait, what? Well, there goes your way to home. You should probably quick save again when it's like a lot closer so you don't have to wait. Yeah. And you need, need another it. box. <laughs> oh! This is either gonna be pro play. I can play. fish it out. Oh, it worked. It's pro. I'm surprised you didn't. You never saw any crafted movie videos as a kid. Uh, they were like Minecraft machinimas, but high production and quality with unique characters. All right, I'm going back to the walkthrough. Okay, I figured it out. What? This makes me want to touch a fuse box. <laughs> That's immaculate level design. <laughs> I don't remember this in the base game. Didn't go anywhere. You had to press the button twice. Real fast. Oh, it's an... <laughs> in no other mod has that button model been two separate actual buttons. What is this mod? It's the Dark Souls of Source Mods. <laughs> yeah, but Dark Souls is actually oh, challenging. You just do a graffiti and leave. <laughs> the Big Bad <laughs> Wanted. What? <laughs> G-Man, what? G-Man don't have good grammar or art skills. Maybe you just have to press the button again. I swear. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? You see, it's like real life because old elevators get jammed sometimes. <laughs> Not like the- ah! What? What? You see, it's like real life because sometimes you just get screwed. <laughs> Well, you see, if we get to the top, it's just gonna do the thing again. Maybe you have to crawl underneath the door and out of the elevator as fast as possible before it crashes. Oh! Uh... <laughs> this is awkward. I think you glitched it. The big bad jellyfish wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
jellyfish. <laughs> what? That's still deadly. And I can't get out because G-Man was blocking the way. Did you just say G-Man? Walk through time. Wait. No, why, why is barrel parkour always your answer to everything? <laughs> In this mod, do you think it won't be the answer? I mean, I'm sure it will be at some point, but regardless. All right, walk through time. Hee. <laughs> and now we have to wait for this. So how was your weekend? Oh no! <laughs> that's okay. That's the most obscure running joke we have on our channel. I'm pretty sure it's not even listed in the wiki yet. Yeah, they fish. <laughs> does does Snape actually say that? At any that was point? supposed to be Count Dooku. If Snape said it, it would be like jellyfish. It's just slow motion Count Dooku. That's all it is. Wait, when did Count Dooku ever say? Oh, he jellyfish. didn't ever say. He didn't ever say it actually. Okay, so let me talk <laughs> about this. The best thing to do is to thrust the player into an environment that they've never seen before and also blind them with the screen flashing effect. Anyway, this is a ladder. <laughs> oh, okay. You can get the health. It's not a real health pack. <laughs> what? They've all been real up to this point. I know. Wait, why are there elevator buttons in the shower? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. why there are elevator buttons in the shower. That it still controls doesn't... the platform. Why would- why is there a button to control the platforms in the shower? So the room's still radioactive, but radioactive. like- Radioactive! Thank you. It just randomly inject you with 2014 when you're not looking. Yeah, I don't exactly appreciate that. <laughs> look, man, I- I have- I look back on 2014 with fond memories. Okay, walk through. Oh, it just, uh, it just skips that part. Let me find a different video. Um, oh, I didn't know you were watching a video. I thought you were, like, reading an IGN, like, written walkthrough. I, and I was singing Badahiri the whole time you were trying to listen to it. So apparently, you remember back at, like, level one? When we were on the Do beach? Do we have to backtrack that far? No, we don't. No, <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, evidently, there was, like, two alternate p alternative paths we could have taken. You're telling me this is an RPG? Not necessarily. How did our health get back up to 100? I was just about to ask you. Oh, the nanomachines! Oh, the nanomachines! I, how could we forget? So maybe there's enough time now to figure out what the heck's going on. Nanomachines, son. Every time I think of the word nanomachines, I have flashbacks to this prank call video on YouTube I watched a really long time ago where somebody called, like, Home Depot using Senator Armstrong from Metal Gear Rising as the voice, and they kept asking the Home Depot clerk for nanomachines. <laughs> the same person also did another prank call video where they called a uh, tech support scammer company as JC Denton and they told them that they were gonna like report them to the FBI and stuff. Oh my gosh. It was really funny. It's like, I know you're working for the NSF. Oh, so you didn't take the helicopter. What? There's another alternate? Looks like we're going to have to do multiple playthroughs. Um... I'm kidding. Respectfully, absolutely not. We're probably not even going to be able to finish this mod. I mean, we never really do in any of our videos anyways. This is just... This is terrible. Oh! I just... Can I... Ha oh, ha! Um, okay, let me know when the nanomachines heal us so I can, like... I'm gonna keep trying to look for a walkthrough. If you can't figure this out within the next 15 minutes, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Fair enough. This is- I'm pinning this on you. Top 10 ways to trigger epilepsy by Watch Mojo. Throw a flashbang into a room. Remember how this door is stupid? Yes. Oh. Then we run all the way back. Cryostasis. And for what? Okay, so we need to find things in there and put them. We gotta put two servers in there. Oh. 
Is that are those it? I guess we're I going to find out. Oh. I would have laughed so hard if it chomped it. <laughs> Open up. Like attention to detail time. It actually breaks the server in half if it if the door happens to close when you're halfway through putting. They it. could not make the source engine do that if they tried for years. Uh, you might be able to go in. Maybe it doesn't feel like it right now. Ask him nicely. Can you please go in there? I was checking the walkthrough and apparently you just gotta be gentle with it. See, I told you, you just gotta be nice. How hot do these things run? <laughs> grab the other boy. A... Don't kill yourself with it this time. I didn't kill myself with it. He chose to kill me with it. <laughs> he chose to kill me with himself. Okay. Where oh, are we, we coming back to? We gotta go back to the Yakuza guy. Okay, uh, how do we do that? Are you kidding me? Huh? Why is there a harpoon in the wall? And I don't know, science? but it was... <laughs> Some for some reason, okay. The panel's here and the harpoon was there. <laughs> Who's playing with harpoons in the middle of Aperture Science? Moreover, how did that prevent the door from opening? <laughs> Whoever made this was like either had mental problems or was on drugs or both. Alt tab. I'm just relying on the walkthrough at this point. Me and the boys. What happened? Ran out of disk space while I was talking about drugs. Okay. <laughs> it was divine intervention to prevent us from getting cancelled for saying the words crack cocaine on YouTube. Anyway. They didn't have to scan you on entrance, but they have to scan you before you leave. Maybe it's because we fought our way through an irradiated tunnel. Fought our way through an irradiated tunnel? There was nothing to fight. It was more of a psychological battle. It's my turn, because it loaded. Oh, crowbar guy. Crowbar guy had a rest after after wasting all his energy trying to close the door that we closed. So, he's happy now, because he, he was... Take... Nap. And you can quote me on that. Вы молодец. Вы не представляете, какую помощь вы всем нам оказали. No. <laughs> Aliens gonna die. Glados <laughs> died. We could use all of Aperture Sciences. I've started. Send white Aperture Sciences. What? Just all their locations. All of their science. Informaton. Chell Martinez. <laughs> Their names are in obituaries. It's your uncle, Father Grigory. <laughs> Our... Oh no. No! <laughs> this is the worst fan fiction, like, relationship <laughs> connection thing ever. Chell is Father Grigory's niece. That salute, did you see that? Uh, can we be done now that the reveal happened? <laughs>